What's good, everybody? Nest Up Scout here. And today we're going to be doing a film breakdown on Pittsburgh guard Carlton Bub Carrington. Bub Carrington is a very interesting prospect because in high school he was very under ranked. Like he was a four star recruit coming out of high school and committed to, and that's mainly why he ended up at Pitt. But he's been dominating high school recently. As you see right here, he always uh, keeps his eyes up, always is looking to make the right pass. As you see right here, sees nobody really guarding him. Allows for an easy little layup. Um, He has probably the best mid-range game of anyone in the, like, the top 20 for this year because as you see like just he has elite pace stock can stop on the dime easy jump shot he does have a really high release he's like six six i'm pretty sure so it's very hard to block his shot now right here kind of shows the one gripe i have about him is that athletically he's not really super athletic can't really create any space, kind of has to try to bully his way up, even on the actual layup attempt, he doesn't get high off the ground at all, but still gets his rebound, and is able to bring it out, and again, he is never really rushed, he never seems rushed, gets to the spot, misses the shot, but that is still a good shot for him, I love the fact that he snaked, snaked around the screen, Put good, eh, my fault. Good little pull up, just couldn't really make it. Now right there, he kind of put his own teammate in jail, but again, just nothing really bothers him. It's like he has the poise. He isn't. He never is really rushed or scared to do anything. Just take his. Just took his sweet time to this little step back. Was able to knock it down. Super tough shot. Now, he's a very quick reader. As you see, right here, he sees uh, the help defender tag onto the big man. Easy pass right there. Just super smart player. And he's a grab-and-go type of guy. Keeps his head up almost all the time. And he's looking to score at all times, as you see right here. You know, this was a pretty, like, ill-advised shot, like, pretty deep three with 26 seconds left. But he could knock this down. Because I don't know the exact percentage, but I know he's been shooting really well from three this year. Um, again, you're not going to rush him. He's going to get to where he wants to be. And see, he saw they didn't quite have the jump shot, passed it off, was able to get it back for an open three-pointer. Knocked down. You can't leave him open off the catch. Now, defensively, he's okay. Like, I wouldn't say it's a strength nor a weakness, but sometimes he will. Does tend to get, like, bumped on these screens, which I think that was just, like, communication. I think that's what that was. It's just bad communication. But it is what it is. Um. Again, always keeps his head up. He's reading the floor. He sees um the help defender. Digging a little bit too deep, and he sees his teammate uh, flaring up for the three. Delivers it to him. Easy pass. Just teammate couldn't knock it down. Um, Right here, he just definitely just gets blown by. Just, hey, it is what it is. But right here, he played some pretty good defense, as you see. He's able to move his, he moved his feet well. And just walled up because again he's he's like six six and he has a what looks to be a pretty good wingspan. So I feel like he definitely has two way potential at the guard spot. Right here. Again. Taking his time. Most young guards they would try to probably take this right here. But he uses multiple ball fakes. Able to step back a little bit, get to his opening, take the easy shot. Um, he's great at reading these short rolls, cause that's really that's primarily what Pitt has been doing. They've been doing short rolls and um, and pick and pops, and he's been great at it so far. Um, but as you see, if I could go back, 
sees the center helping, knows his player, those his defender just got hit. So easy dump off. Just teammate couldn't quite finish it. Again, he's a very confident shooter. He's not afraid to shoot it at all. Um, I'm very bought into the jump shot. Now, right here, he definitely kind of predetermined this pass. Like, he definitely was better off just maybe dribbling a little bit deeper and then making this pass. Or, uh, no, nah, it wasn't a pocket pass. Or maybe, or maybe just straight up lobbing it to him. Just... Just the simple mistake that, again, he's probably going to be, like, one of the youngest in this upcoming draft. So, um, hey, it is what it is. Um, right here, I love the fact that he kept his dribble alive. and But just ended up throwing a bad pass. Just a very bad pass. He Again, he's young. He'll do that sometimes. But, again, love this play right here. Breaks him down, uses that off arm to swipe out, swipe to swipe the defender's arm, sees the help, kicks out, easy jump shot. Again, super patient, isn't afraid to pump fake a couple times and then take that uh, mid range fade away. Again, mid range is cash. They run a lot of these like little. Uh, curls where he'll get uh, get it off a handoff and just pull up in the mid range because it's super effective. Like I said, he's very good at these pop situations. With that which is basically the only thing that Pitt has been running. So I do want to see him mix it up, like maybe instead of a pop of a full on roll. But again, takes his time. He's mostly just a jump shooter right now, but he's been very good at it. Love the defense right there. Just got in front, then foul, hands up. Great defense. Again, not afraid to shoot it. And he's shooting that 25 seconds in a, a fast break situation or transition situation. Again, just super patient. Doesn't allow the defense to rush him at all. Gets the bump, doesn't have anything, pump fakes once, sees him on his toes, fade away, super tough. Again, you got to see the pump fake. If, you, if you're a defender and you're guarding Bub Carrington, you can't fall for the first pump fake or the second pump fake because that's what happens most of the time. They fall for the second, for the first or second pump fake and it ends up in an uh, easy memory jump shot. But did I do a play? Oh, yeah. So, right here, uses the roll, sees the help defender helping over super far, and then creates a hockey assist for himself, mainly because of the great pass he uh, read right there. He's great at reading that uh, secondary help defender. Again, now, right here is where I would kind of like him to really turn this corner and really just fully blow by the defender. But, hey, it's a shot that he can make. So I'm not mad at it, but I just wish he was just a little bit faster and just took that all the way so he could probably either make a pass to his big man or make a pass to 31. But, again, that's just Nick picking. Uh, again, he is excellent at reading the secondary help defender. As you see, he's tagging a big man right now. So if he's tagging a big man, then that must mean the corner's open. And he bring, and he always passes it with great velocity and great speed. Like that pass right there. And this is what I mean. I want them to run more of these full rolls because I feel like he'll be very efficient at it. Really good pass right there. Very good. He has very good touch on some of these passes. Again, another good short roll pass. Uh, this seems like a very simple play, but at the same time, it's very smart. As you see, uses the screen. The hope the defender is forced to hope, so that leaves his man open. And he's been. And by the way, Blake Henson has been the funnest player I've watched. 
in college basketball recently just because of, he's just so big, but he can shoot. So, and this is what I mean. I like if he did more more of these jobs where he just gets into the defender defender's body if they're smaller than him, gets into their body, extends over them. If he does that, he can easily be like a top five pick in this draft. I feel. Again, though, he's not super fast. Didn't really blow by him. Still took up a contested shot, but again, super good touch. And he's a, a again super a tough shot maker. Now, right here, I like this play because sets the screen for his teammate. He's able to shoot off the movement, kinda. And I want to see. I want to see if they'll uh, implement any like full on like movement plays for him. Probably not, but uh I do wanna see what if he'll ever be on a team that utilizes something like that. Now, right here, predetermined his pass. Uh didn't see two at all. Didn't recognize two that was in the was gonna be able to make a play. Just do a bad pass. It is what it is. Um I like this play because he sees he doesn't have enough in, but he also sees all eyes are on him right now. So that must mean somebody's open. Easy pass. Just couldn't knock it down. Now, I like the fact, as you see, at first he was going to slow it down. He wasn't going to uh, rush the ball up, but he sees the defense not set at all. Runs it up. Easy float over the defense. Easy uh Lay it by the by his teammate. Now this is probably my favorite defensive play by him. As you see, you see his man running off of the screen, slips by the screen. It just has everything boxed right here, super box, and then still is able to get a great contest on the jump shot. That is probably his best defensive play that I've seen in these games I've watched. Now. Again, super confident player. Sees the defense backing up. And just super good pull up. See him backing up. See him sees the defender backing up. Choose it uh with confidence. Able to get the and one. Again, he is so confident. If he truly believes you can't guard him, he's gonna demand for the ball and go into attack mode. And I love that. He has a he has a very good balance of scoring and playmaking right now which I don't really see out of any other guard, really, besides maybe like Rob Dillingham. Again, he's great at making these uh, baseline, driving baseline reads. Doesn't have anything, but sees all the eyes are on him. Finds a shooter, knocked down. Again, super patient, gets to the spots, Bumps him, will spin around, fade away, super tough. He reminds me of SGA a little bit. This is probably the closest we have to SGA and and college basketball. Again, again, if he believes you can't guard him, he's going to go at you. Let a little tween cross to another tween, step back, money, super tough. And again, once he gets hot, he gets hot. He gets super confident in his jump shot. And again, if he believes you can't guard him, he's gonna go at you. He this is I'm pretty sure this in this game he was wanting to go at number seven a lot, but his teammates weren't getting the ball. But number seven was on him, so he had to put matters in his own hands. Again, so good at these pick and pop situations, and my fault. Uh, and that's just showing you that I believe that uh, Bubba Carrington is the best point guard in this class or in this draft class. I believe that, and solely be based on the scoring and playmaking upside he has, he's six five, six six. I really like his game. He's definitely my favorite point guard in this draft. That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If there's any other players you want me to break down, put them in the comment section below. And if no one told you today, I love you, but God loves you more. Stay blessed.